Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants, I'm back, guys, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, what's up, y'all, welcome back, guys, welcome back, got another great video for you guys today, as usual, man, you guys know the deal, we must continue to set the record straight, guys, stop the lies, stop the narratives, stop them from rewriting the history, these losers are not gonna be able to, we're not gonna let them to rewrite the history, man, we won't allow this. And in this video, this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to stop some lies and narratives, and we're going to stop them from trying to rewrite the history and bend reality, guys. And we're going to talk about how Jerry West is a much superior greater uh, basketball player than James Harden ever will be or ever was, man. Because I keep seeing, uh, seeing stuff uh, with people saying that James Harden is like the, the one of the top shooting guards in NBA's history, like a top five, top three shooting guard. I don't know when this started or why this has started, but I've heard people also say that James Harden is somehow greater than Jerry West. Not even close. Not even close, guys, and we're going to talk about it in this video, man, because James Harden, once again, is a bum. This, I have no respect for James Harden. He's a clown, man. He's a soft, feminine dude, man. No male, man, ener male energy coming off of James Harden, and his game is whack. We're going to talk about it in this video, guys, and I want to thank you guys, man, everyone across the world. Everyone across the state has been supporting my channel, guys. I am truly humble, for real, man, for real. Everyone out there, it means a lot. Once again, everybody in the membership, thanks a lot for all the support. It's truly, truly humbling. You guys commenting, uh, liking the videos, sharing your stories with me, man. Truly humbling. Shout out to everybody out there. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, I've been seeing this a lot. Uh, I was on a live stream on Sunday. You guys know I do the live streams on Sundays. And I saw someone in the comments of the live stream talking about how James Harden was greater, a greater sh a shooting guard, a greater player than Jerry West. And this, once again, you know, these people, they're idiots. They don't know anything about basketball. When they say these things, they expose themselves. But once again, when they try to explain how or why James Harden is a greater player than Jerry West, this is when they can sound like complete morons. And this is why I tell you, these fools never have videos on their channels. They never do. Anyone who's a fan of this era, the 2010s into the 2020s, you're so much a fan that you make videos or you comment on other people's videos or you believe you know everything, then why do you guys have that videos? I don't understand this. The reason they don't have videos is because they have nothing to say. There's no reason and there's no way you can explain James Harden ever being anywhere near Jerry West. I'm talking about anywhere near Jerry West. He's nowhere on the level of a Jerry West, guys. Nowhere. Now, let's think about this now. I've heard people try to say that James Harden's overall offensive bag is deeper than Jerry West's. Are you kidding me? What do we see? Once again, what evidence do you have to support this? There's no evidence to support that James Harden has any bag. Because let's be real here. James Harden won an MVP in the weakest, the weakest era in NBA's history. I told you, James Harden would never win an MVP in the 60s when Jerry West played. He would never sniff an MVP over Bill Russell or Will Chamberlain or a Bob Pettit or an Oscar Robertson or a Jerry West. He would never win MVPs over any of these guys and Elgin Baylor. None of these guys, Willis Reed, none of the great players of the 60s, man, would he ever win an MVP over. Those are the facts right there of the jump. Right? So James Harden's MVP trophy, I told you guys, it's fraudulent. He got it in his weak, soft era. Not buying it. But also, we must dig deeper and think about this. Why did James Harden win an MVP? Or how did he win the MVP? By cheesing the lame rules of the era that he played in. So what did we watch James Harden do? We watched James Harden abuse the fouls, flopping all over the court, traveling for these step-back threes that people say that he was the innovator of. This stupid step back three, which is a travel. Because as soon as the NBA started cracking down and officiating the game, what happened to James Harden's skills? All of a sudden, James Harden can't lead the league in scoring anymore. All of a sudden, James Harden's not an MVP candidate. All of a sudden, James Harden's nobody now. Literally nobody, guys. And these are the facts. Jerry West was a much superior overall offensive player. Jerry West scored when it mattered most. The man's nickname is Mr. Clutch. That's the complete opposite of James Harden who's known as one of the, probably the biggest choker of his era, would probably be James Harden, right? It would be James Harden and uh, who's another big choker? Joel Embiid's another guy. Um, these are the guys who are the big chokers of this transition from the 2010s into the 2020s. James Harden's nowhere near the level of a player performer of a Jerry West caliber. They would never call James Harden Mr. Clutch. He's Mr. Choke. So if we think about the overall offensive game of Jerry West, 
is much superior to James Harden. Jerry West had one of the best pull-up jumpers in the NBA's history. James Harden got the pull-up jumper of Jerry West. James Harden must travel for his openings to get space. That's how he creates space, by traveling and carrying the basketball. Jerry West, he didn't have those advantages. He couldn't carry the ball like they can in this era. They actually officiated the game a lot tighter back in the 60s. Jerry West couldn't travel all over the court and palm the ball. He couldn't do these things. Jerry West had to actually be efficient at scoring. Jerry West, one of the, the first real efficient, um, high-scoring uh, guys in NBA's history, guys. This man's averaging 27 points a game, 30 points a game. Some of these series having 40 points a game in some of these playoff series. But being efficient while doing this, no one's ever going to use the word efficiency, right, and quality of shots and James Harden in the same uh, sentence, guys. Jerry West took much higher quality shots than James Harden ever will or ever would. So when they talk about the overall offensive game of James Harden, what game? What game does James Harden have without carrying and, and, and traveling? He has no game. Where's James Harden without Mike D'Antoni? Without the Mike D'Antoni system, where's James Harden? Where is he? Nowhere. He's nowhere to be found. Right? Nowhere to be found. He's a sniffing MVP since that fluke season. Right? So when we think about the offensive side of the ball, to me, Jerry West is a superior offensive player. He was a lot more, like I said, efficient by taking better shots, higher quality of shots, and his touch was better. He had more moves. Give me Jerry West all day, every day. Let's go to the defensive side of the ball, and this is where James Harden gets exposed. Jerry West is one of the great defensive, one of the great two-way players in the history of the game. The history of the game, man. Their men made multiple all-defensive teams, and let's not forget that the uh, the all defensive teams did not come about until the 1969 season. So Jerry West played many seasons without an all defensive team being there. And yet still, he still made more all defensive teams than James Harden ever would. Ever would. James Harden would never make an all defensive team. He would never sniff an all defensive team. Meanwhile, like I said, Jerry West, one of the great two way players in the history of the game, guys, gave the effort on both ends. Not James Harden. James Harden didn't give no effort on defense. You ever, anytime I hear a James Harden fan try to support him, they say the same things. They talk about his offensive game. That's all they can talk about. There's nothing else to talk about. I've told you, even his offensive game is not like that. It's fraudulent. But they can't say anything else. Is he a good rebounder? No, James Harden can't rebound the ball. Is he a better athlete than Jay West? No, James Harden ain't a great athlete like that. This man never comes into shape to camp in shape. Jay West was a true professional, man, who played with the respect, the honor, integrity. He loved the game. He was a true competitor, guys, true. They said Jay West would be sick, sick, man, after he lost those battles against the Celtics. He would be sick losing to that team, man. He couldn't stand losing. James Harden don't care about losing. James Harden will lose a game and then be in the club that night not caring, not giving a damn, just worried about his money and his fame, worried about the strip clubs. This is James Harden, guys. This is why he's exposed himself. He's exposed his error. These guys are soft, man. He couldn't last in the 60s, James Harden. He would never last. In the 60s, James Harden would be nobody. He would be a bench player at best in the 60s, guys. He was all that carrying and traveling. It wouldn't fly in that era. He'd be useless. Literally loot useless. You don't play any defense. You can't rebound. You have no leadership, no heart. Then what are you good for in the 60s? He wouldn't make it. Where real men played where big guys were there, where they'll put you on your butt. James Harden has flopped around in the softest era of NBA's history, the softest era, and he still continues to flop around at a high level. They had to come up with guidelines for people like James Harden. Not for Jerry West. There was no 65-game minimum for Jerry West. Jerry West showed up. He played. James Harden don't play no games, man. He don't play. Once again, what has James Harden done? He has never led a team to a finals. And what do his supporters say? Oh, he, he had to play against the 2018 Warriors. So you're telling me that James Harden only played in the league for one year? He only played one year. That was the only year that he could win a championship or lead a team to the finals? Where was James Harden in 2016? Where was James Harden in 2015? Where was he in 2017? 2019 and 20? All these years he's been in the league. Where has James Harden been? He's played with all kinds of talent. So don't talk to me about Jerry West. Elgin Baylor or, or Will Chamberlain. I'm pretty sure James Harden played with OKC Thunder with Russell Westbrook and, and Kevin Durant. Yes, they were young, but James Harden was there. And when he was in the finals in 2012, where was James Harden? He didn't show up. He did nothing in that finals. And don't make more excuses about his age and, and things of this nature. More excuses. 
Meanwhile, he's always giving excuses. Where was he in 2018? He wasn't there. He was up three games to two, and he choked it away. Oh, Chris Paul got hurt. More excuses for James Harden and this week's soft era. No one made excuses for Jerry West when he was going against the 60s Dynasty Celtics every single season. <laughs> like, the 2017 to 2018 Warriors, yeah, they're, they're a good team, right? But once again, Kevin Durant soft. Uh, he's been exposed. I'm not worried about Kevin Durant. Give me the 60s Celtics with Bill Russell, John Havlicek, Bob Cousy, Sam Jones. Give me that team over the Warriors in 2017-18. Give me that team. James Harden ain't beating that Bill Russell team. James Harden was up three games to two and folded up. Jerry Wesson didn't get no excuses made for him. Him and Elgin Baylor, no excuses made for them. Every single year battling against the Celtics, no excuses made. Jerry West kept leading his team to the championship. Not James Harden, even though he was getting help from the referees and all the rules. So guys, remember, there's no way, no how, that James Harden will ever be close to Jerry West all time. He's nowhere close to passing him. James Harden, to me, is not a top 10 shooting guard of all time. He hasn't earned that. What has he done? James Harden's game is weak, man. It would not translate to any other era except for this weak era. It's not translating in the 90s. James Harden winning an MVP in the 90s? Hell no. Over Michael Jordan, Hakeem Olajuwon, David Robinson, Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal, Karl Malone. He's winning an MVP with those guys? Hell no. Hell no. The 80s, he's winning an MVP in the 80s? Hell no. Over Magic, Moses Malone, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan, Dr. J. No way, man. Just stop it. Just stop. This era, the 2010s into the 2020s, has been so exposed with the guys who have won MVPs. The Russell Westbrooks. And I love Russell Westbrook, man. I, I really do. I love his effort, his hustle. He's not winning an MVP in any other era, guys. He's not. He's just not. James Harden, he's not winning an MVP in any other era, guys. He's not. James Harden is a joke. His game is a joke. He does nothing good. Nothing. His playmaking ability, look at all the turnovers he has. His playmaking ability is suspect. And like I told you, he plays no defense, can't rebound, no leadership, no heart, no durability, no toughness, no honor, no class, no integrity. Guys, all the intangibles I'm always telling you about. Give me Jerry West all day, every day, man. To me, Jerry West is the third greatest shooting guard of all time behind Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Give me Jerry West at number three. A true professional. Mr. Clutch. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.